Now back to Xfinity Sports Night Live with Gary Radnich. Or uh, more round table with Rick and Larry in a minute. But this story has a real nice twist to it. In fact, a Channel 4 twist as well. It's about a rookie who did not receive a college scholarship, was not drafted into the pros. I mean, this is a guy, the odds were very long that Kevin McDermott would be in the NFC Championship uh, game snapping, long snapping, and we caught up with Kevin a little bit earlier this week. We're dressed casually, we're relaxed, and so is Kevin. To think that we were that close to the Super Bowl, and for some of these guys, it was their uh, third trip to the NFC Championship game in three years. So um, to not make it to the Super Bowl is, it, it, it's not what we wanted. Did you guys blow it, or did Seattle just beat you? Well, I don't think we blew it, and I don't think um, that, uh, you know, you could say, you know, we didn't play a good game. Uh, I think we played especially hard, and Seattle's just a very talented team, and um, it came down to a final drive. A lot of teams would like to be in that position with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. If I brought up the fact that you have lost the last three times in Seattle, it'd be hard to argue with maybe at home right now they're just a little bit better than you guys at home. Well, they've beaten us the last three times yeah. up there, so um, I can't argue with that, but I think that we... Um, are a great team that are, are capable of winning there. Let, let me get into the personal. Mm -hmm. This is a fascinating story. You're not drafted. I'm not All right, drafted. Out of UCLA, had mm -hmm. a great career, and yet you're not selected. Why do you think you weren't picked? Well, actually, there hasn't been a long snapper drafted in the past couple of years. Okay. So going into it, uh, I knew that my chances of being drafted were very slim. Uh, there were a few teams that I had a good feeling about in terms of them offering me a contract once the draft ended, which is how the free agent market works. And uh, thankfully, uh, San Francisco was one of those teams. And when they gave me that call, that was, that was where I was headed. Because the story goes, Brian Jennings had been here with 12 years 13 13 years very popular good with the media great snapper no problems you just had that good a training camp where that was it mm -hmm. you know I, I have to give credit to Brian he was um, a great snapper a good friend he gave me a lot of tips and uh, was a good role model you know he taught me how to be a professional mm -hmm. is there somewhere down the road you could be a a center on uh, on every down. No. <laughs> oh, really? They, uh, I mean, you're you're a real special. Team. I, I'm I'm a special teams player. Yeah. Um, I'm out there for field goals and punts. That's. Well, you laughed. What What's the matter? You couldn't. Oh, you couldn't go. Uh, uh, right hey, I could, but yeah. uh, I I would then get run over by uh, the uh, Red Bryants of the world. Okay, because that is. I mean, I don't want to say it, it limits you, but in a way it does, because you know you. That's the one thing you do. It is. And when do they talk about you when something goes wrong? Exactly. If no one is mentioning. My my name that I'm doing my job correctly. Right. So you make one or two bad snaps and you're going for a master's degree at UCLA. Yeah. That's that's pretty much the idea. Boy, that's pressure, isn't it? It is. It is pressure, but yeah. um, you know, you don't think about that in the moment. You don't go out on the field thinking, oh, if I mess this snap up, I'm going to be out of a job. We alluded to your mom as uh, being the head over, I think, with 31 stations. Mm -hmm. You know, she and is uh, the loud voice. When your mother says something, everybody at Cron, a program director becomes a cameraman mm -hmm. because they want to get to your mother through the, you know, but, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious, did your mom go to every game? Uh, well, she is unbelievable trooper I mean she, when I was in college at you UCLA. Say trooper or annoying you like her no, to stay no, home was, once? no no it was great okay. she comes to every game she can she's flying cross country to come <laughs> and see me play with my dad now my brother's at UCLA so they'll great. go see him play and they came to a number of games for the Niners this year and um, they missed Green Bay though I think that was a smart move on their <laughs> so part. your mom says I'm not going yeah, below she, zero she may be a fan but she's not stupid no that's terrific any tips from your mom on, on no, snapping no she she, she just, uh, you know, it's funny, she didn't really know what a snapper was doing really until uh, I got to college and I had to sit her down and explain, hey, this is what I do, this is, uh, so here, you, when I'm doing this, this is the thought process and everything. So now she just gets real nervous whenever I'm out on the field. I think she's more nervous than I am. Anybody tell you, I mean, you're very well-spoken, Real nice, pleasant guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, but what, you, what the heck are you doing playing pro football? <laughs> huh? You know, I um, 
when I was in high school, uh, I was the long snapper for our uh, football team because we didn't have many guys in and my high school. And that's all you did in high school? Well, no, 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 I played tight end. Okay. But um, that was uh, one of the things that my high school coach said, you know, you're a really good long snapper. You should keep practicing this and maybe one day you'll get to walk on at a university. And so wow. I got the opportunity to walk on at UCLA and when I was at UCLA they said you know you're pretty good at long snapping you should keep doing this because maybe one day you'll make it so you pros. walked on at UCLA too? yeah I walked on at UCLA Jeez. and earned a scholarship my uh, junior year